Just watch this thing squirt. Oh. This thing is juicing oh. like no. Oh. oh, that's the brisket. <laughs> <laughs> but I love watching the guy at Subway struggle to close my sub. I order so much fucking shit on my sub, and I just watch him struggle to like put it all into one sub and like they close it, like put the buns together. <laughs> it turns me on. <laughs> it's like a. <laughs> It's like a, it's like a, it's like a slight turn on when he's just like, <laughs> so every time he wants to like move on and and like stop putting stuff on the sub, I'm like no, I want cucumber as well, and them onions, and the cabbage, I want extra cheese, <laughs> and he just struggles <laughs> to put that shit together. <laughs> I just see. <laughs> I just sleep. I just see his fucking <laughs> mental fall apart slowly but surely as he's trying to close my fucking sub. <laughs> it's such a big turn on. <laughs> I just, oh my god. I <laughs> anyway, Nanapass underscore Bushido says that a nails a fight between Naruto and Sasuke. From my analysis, it appears that Naruto and Sasuke have vastly different fighting styles. Naruto is a master of close range attacks while Sasuke relies heavily on ranged techniques. With Naruto's speed, agility and mastery of ninjutsu combined with Sasuke's long range attacks and Sharingan, I predict a long and hard fight between the two. Ultimately though, I believe that Naruto would come out victorious given his sheer instinctual aptitude for battle. Romantic dinner. More like a fucked up dinner. Ah! Nasinya di mana? Oh, nasinya di sini.